Resonance is still confusing though, so I feel like I still need some help on those. Welcome to study with us. I had Ari watch this video on resonance. This video shows guidelines on how to start drawing resonance structures, identifying resonance contributors, resonance hybrids, and multiple practice problems. How was the video? You watched the community I did. video on resonance. Yes. Helpful. Okay. It actually made sense. Yeah. Okay. I followed along pretty well. All right. Mm -hmm. We're gonna test what you okay. learned. <laughs> and today we're gonna start off with just Difficulty level one question, okay. so figuring out if something is a resonance structure mm -hmm. or not. Um, we'll do a little bit of resonance, okay. mainly with just uh, carbons and hydrogens, okay. nothing crazy like mm -hmm. oxygens or nitrogens. Once we get to difficulty level two and three, then we'll add in some of the more complicated okay. questions that do have oxygen, nitrogen, and even maybe a triple bond or so. Okay, okay. okay. We can do this. Um, we'll also get into the uh, resonance contributors. Yeah. And other yeah. other things, like other terms that you may not be familiar with yet. Mm -hmm. So we'll cover that as well. Okay. But for now, let's dive into this one. All right. So mm. are these resonance structures, and I just want you to label yes or no. Okay. What are you thinking? Um, let's see. I'd say yes. Why? Because the charge is still the same, the only thing that moved were the electrons, and they still have the same amount of bonds. They just pretty much like flip flopped. Did electrons move? How do we know electrons moved? Because there's still the carbon with the three hydrogen bonded to that carbon, and then on this side, same thing. And then, oh wait. Circle what changed? So it would be this right here. Mm -hmm flipped with this right here. Right. So did the, and remember electrons are bonds really. Yeah. Right? Those are, we can think of it as, there's two electrons here technically. Mm -hmm. That's actually a bond. Right. What really moved? So actually it was the hydrogen and the carbon. So what would it be no then? It'd be because no. Because no, they like changed the whole formula then. Exactly. Okay. Your clue here. Oh yeah, electrons move, atoms do not. Atoms do not move. <laughs> oh right, okay. And these are atoms, the hydrogen, this CH3. Okay, yeah. And then your electrons are represented with the bonds here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. That so yes, sense. that's that gonna sense. keep coming up. Oh, tricky. So no. Okay. Let's do another one. Let's try that one. Let's see. The charge. I'd say this one, yes. And why? So same thing, the charges stayed the same, no atoms moved, just the electrons. So this four, there's a four here, but then since there's not, there's a charge on this one. But on this one, there wasn't, now it's completed. Good, Yeah. and you're saying four bonds, correct? Four bonds, yeah, Yes. four bonds. Good, that is correct. Yeah, okay, good. We can also look at it as, something like this, mm -hmm. where we're gonna see a carbocation. This is gonna be something that's commonly said all right. throughout organic chemistry. And then a carbanion mm -hmm. just means negative charge. Right, right. So knowing the differences here is gonna be super important because we can then see that this is a carbocation. Mm -hmm. It has three bonds, no lone pair. Mm -hmm. And I know that, okay, it will have a positive charge. And the other thing to note here, and actually I'm just gonna draw it out is showing that none of these hydrogens moved. I know that there are, we can't, don't actually see the hydrogens, right, right? Right, But in this case, I can see, okay, well, this has only three bonds. Mm -hmm. There's one, two, there is a hydrogen here. And then if I look here, I know, okay, well, if I actually want to look here just to make sure that there is just one hydrogen there. Mm -hmm. There's two bonds, a bond here. This requires one more, as you said, the four. Mm -hmm. So great, that didn't change. Same concept again for now if I'm looking here and here. Here, I already have three bonds. I don't have a hydrogen that's necessary because again, it's a carbocation. Mm -hmm. Here, again, I don't need that. This has four bonds. That checks out. There's no hydrogen, no hydrogen. Okay. And we can keep working our way throughout here. This has a hydrogen. This also has one hydrogen. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. Same thing at this end. And same thing here and here. That makes sense. Okay. So yes, that's another way to check, is to actually draw in the hydrogens. And do the math. See okay. if anything changed, yep. Okay. Perfect. 
Let's do one more. What about that? Hmm. So this just, okay. I'm gonna tell you what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. The charges are the same, there's still an oxygen and there's still two bonds. Yeah. But right here, is there a carbon at the end of this? There is. Okay, so then there'd be, like right here, there's also a carbon at the end of this Yes. One? Okay. Um, and if it makes hydrogen? it easier, yes, there's two okay. hydrogens. Okay, that's not like, there's no charge yeah. amount for that reason. And okay. perfect, there, there is a carbon here. There are two hydrogens here to complete that octet. Okay. Then, if we went back to the carbanion, mm -hmm. since it's a negative charge, mm -hmm. I know that there's three bonds and a lone pair at this end. So I know that this had to have already one bond, there's mm -hmm. another bond with hydrogen, a hydrogen, and then we don't really worry about the lone pair here, but it's just seeing we have two hydrogens here, mm -hmm. two hydrogens there, okay, those didn't move, so far so good. Yeah, yeah. So what are you thinking? Keep going with that thought. Um. Honestly, I, I mean, I guess I'd have to count these ones because this one looks like there's a complete octet on all of these ones. Let's do it. So right? let's let's okay. see what else is here. So how many hydrogens are at this carbon? So it has to be one carbon with two hydrogen, right? Because it'd be one, one. So is there, right? there's, there is one, yeah, there, there is one hydrogen. Okay. Oh, one? So just one because this carbon has a double bond, uh -huh. a single bond that makes three bonds. Uh -huh. And then I, it needs one more to complete its octet for okay. four bonds. And then the same thing goes for this one. Again, this is a double bond, single bond that already has three bonds. Mm -hmm. It needs one more. Oh, I do see what you're saying. That's right. What about this carbon? That one also has one hydrogen yes. on both of those. Okay, that makes sense. Perfect. And let's go to this carbon. That one has two hydrogen. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see why. So far, nothing, no atoms have moved, so right. we're good. Now let's get to this one, this carbon. That one has one hydrogen on it? Yes. And then this one also has one hydrogen good. on it. What about these center carbons? Okay, that's why I was okay. So this one has the octet, so one, two, three, four, and then one, two, I'd say, yeah, they're the same, right? They're the same, okay. yep. They already have a complete octet. Like mm -hmm. you said, there's no hydrogens there. Um, and we didn't move anything, right? Right. So in that case, because nothing was moved, no atoms were moved. It is a resonance. It is, okay. it is a resonance yes. structure. Okay. That cool. makes sense. So it the answer, that. yes. Perfect. Nice, okay. That's the main thing. Again, we're gonna keep going. It's just that. Mm -hmm. If the atoms moved, it's not. It is not a resonance structure. If just the electrons moving the bonds, or any like charges, mm. then yes, the electrons moved. That is a resonance structure. Okay, okay. that's awesome. Moving on to an ACS exam question Ooh. that I would say is a difficulty level one. Okay. It's not crazy, mm -hmm. uh, but still, let's look at it. So, which of the following has the correct curved arrow or arrows placement to show resonance for the given allylic carbocation? Carboallylic. And if that is like, I don't know what that means. I know the carbocation. Good. Okay, it's like a charged carbon, like with positive charge. Yes. Okay. I'm going to say ignore that. Because you actually it? don't necessarily need to know what that is. Okay. For this question, all you have to know is, are the curved arrows correct? Okay. So we can start off with the first one. Mm -hmm. Does that look correct? Um, no. Why? I don't know why this would go to that one. Because it's already on it, you know? Is that right? Like my process of thinking. This right here has the two electrons. Mm -hmm. And so if we were to move it to that, wouldn't that just keep it at the same like amount of bonds around it? You know what I'm saying? It would. And, and that's, I guess that that's fine. I wouldn't say that that's the one that we're concerned about. Really? Okay. Like this is kind of like a legal, like it, it is, is, it is, it is a legal <laughs> move. Okay. Yes. What is 
illegal <laughs> to do okay. would have been this. That part right there. Because if we go back to our carbocation, mm -hmm. what or what was it again? What did it look like? It's a carbon with a positive charge. So Three bonds. Three bonds. Oh, and okay. There are no oh. electrons to move. Yeah, that's right. So because there are no electrons here, I can't do this. What oh. am I actually moving? You're moving nothing. Nothing, yeah. Nothing. So that's why this doesn't make any sense. That makes sense. So that's out. Oh, but I you could do that. I this could one? do this one oh, because there's a the lone pair. pair. Yes. That makes sense. So that oh. one has to be out because of this reason. Oh, so not A. Not A. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna actually cross that out. Oh nice. Um, so not A. Not okay. B. I don't feel like it would be B either. Why? Because it's not really moving anything. Correct, it's not. Because uh -huh, it's like a single bond. Exactly, that's the reason. We do not break single bonds. Right, okay. We only move the pi bonds, which is a double bond mm -hmm. or triple bond. And then again, we only move electrons, which is a lone pair, mm -hmm. not a positive charge. That would be a negative charge. Uh huh, okay. So that's that's the reason so here. Be that one. We do not break single bonds. What about C? Um, I would say you could do that one because if you were to move that, then it would actually make this a, just like no charge. Correct, it would be neutral. And then right here, you would have a positive. So you'd still keep the same Beautiful. positive charge. I say this is the correct one. You're correct. Yeah, okay, nice. So you, all right, let's just also kind of rule out this one. Yeah. What? Why is this incorrect? Same thing. Same reason. Moving a yes. Same reason. Okay. So that's going to be a huge thing. We do not, we can't move anything here. There's no right. electrons to move. Doesn't make sense. And do not break single bonds. Okay. So this goes back to what is possible with resonance. Mm -hmm. What's kind of like the main thing that we look at? Again, that's pi bonds, that's a double or triple bond. Charges, mm -hmm. we will look at that. And by and I mean positive and negative charges, that's kind of where resonance will occur. Mm -hmm. However, we do not want to move something like this. Like this isn't possible, right. as we said. And then some lone pairs. We will see that some lone pairs will not be involved in resonance, mm -hmm. while others will be. Okay. But we'll, we'll cover what, what I mean by that. Okay. But that's kind of the main rule of them. Nice, okay. Okay, so great, you got that one down. Good work. We're gonna move on to the next one. So we just saw this. Now I want us to actually draw the resonance structures for this. Okay. So how would electrons move here? We kind of already saw from the last example. Mm -hmm. So how do, we, how do we draw the resonance structure? So you would have the tail of the arrow pointing to what's being moved and then like the head of the arrow, like where it's gonna be formed. Yes. Right? Okay. So, okay. Draw I would, arrow. I would say it would move from here to here. You're right. Is that right? Okay. I don't wanna like write in permanent marker and be wrong. Okay. You're good. So yes, the tail does have to go from whatever electrons we're moving. Mm -hmm. And then from there, that's gonna move towards the bond. A mm -hmm. lot of times students wanna point this to the positive charge, oh. but it's not going there necessarily. Like right. we wanna point this to then show that there's gonna now be a double bond at mm -hmm. this end. Okay, so that's correct. Next, let's draw the resonance okay. structure. So be like this. Good. And then my positive charge would be here now. Yes, yeah. beautiful. That is exactly correct. Good, okay. I like it. Can we keep going? Um, what are you thinking? Honestly, I don't think so. Well, I mean, could we move it here to this side, like on this part right here, but then that would just change the positive back? So the reason why we can't move this to here mm -hmm. goes back to the possibilities of resonance. So if we go back to uh, actually a resonance trick. Okay. Oh yeah. We do not involve sp3 hybridized mm -hmm. atoms or think of it as just a single bond. Okay. We're, we're not going to move that over here uh, and kind of like looking at this I know that this carbon that is sp3 hybridized mm -hmm. because there are Four bonds, bonds, right? There's it. three hydrogens that aren't mm -hmm. being shown. Same thing here. So another oh, cool right. thing is being able to see where resonance is actually going to happen. Okay. And that goes back to what I just mentioned, which was what's possible. So I know that the pi bond, mm -hmm. that's where resonance is going to happen. Charges, 
If there were lone pairs, then it would also be there. Mm -hmm. This is everywhere that resonance can occur. Okay. But it's not going to happen here. Not there. So that's why we're only moving throughout this direction. Oh, okay. So, so yes, there's one. there's only two resonance structures possible. Okay. That makes sense. Good. Good so far. Yeah? Good, good. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Mm -hmm. We're still on drawing more of the resonance structures. Okay. So this is the next one. Now, I want us to kind of play around with this idea right mm -hmm. now because I know once we start getting into the permanent marker, it's like, mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. And we had a positive charge here. Okay. okay. Where can resonance take place? Um, only at the SP2s, which would be... Only here, right? So the SP2s right? and also... Oh, and the pi bonds. The pi bonds, so that's double bonds, okay. right? Charges, if there were lone pairs, then yes. The, the main thing with the trick is uh, we're later going to see that, okay, maybe there might be an oxygen that oh, isn't going to be it. perfectly, mm -hmm. you know... It, Sometimes I would say that this trick mainly works with the pi bonds and then the positive charges. Yeah. But we really aren't going to see anything with an sp3 hybridized carbon. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this could move here. Good. And then I guess I could do that. Mm -hmm. Um, which would change the charge on this one. Beautiful. Um. You're right. That's right. Okay. So that's so that would be one. That's the first structure. Let's, oh, let's draw okay. that out. Good, good. And I want you to show what you the movement that you oh, just so did. Oh, so just draw that on here. Yes. Like that. Good. Perfect. Okay. And then I just go do that. Then this would now be here, and then positive charge. Good. And then we still we didn't move anything that stays. The oh same. yeah, that does stay. Oh yeah. Little guy right there. Good. Okay. Then. What else? How else can we keep moving this? Um. Could we move this like up here, like that? Or. You're right. That's right. We okay. could move that up. Then what happens to the positive charge? Then this positive would come down to here. Good. And that'd be another resonance. And that then would be another. So we don't actually have to move like the bond at the same time. Like no. we could do one on one. Yes. Okay. That's cool. And then it would be, so let's see what I did. Okay. Yes, I would say though, make sure when you are putting that to like be very specific oh, on the point. Oh, okay. Because this is kind of like, eh, it's too? not really on that carbon, which is at each point. Oh, I see what you're saying. And then, let's see, let me double check mm -hmm. your work. So we moved here. Oh, let's oh, also show the movement, yes. Say, wait, okay. That guy right there. Good, and then that moved here, that's correct. Great, and then can we, and actually, let's fix that. So mm -hmm. let's, let's cross that out and just put a, a plus on that point. Good. And then I would even scooch, this is fine for now, but I'd say I'd even scooch this guy like right there. Oh, so like, right the okay. Just because you never know with your professor, yeah, some instructors are tougher true. than others. That's true. Um, okay, so good so far. And I'm actually gonna kind of angle this just to show the same direction mm -hmm. as the point here, just to make it easier for us to tell. Can we keep going? Um, let's see. If I were to move, no, because I just end up right, right here. Good. Okay. If we moved this here, right? Yeah. Towards that positive charge, mm -hmm. then we're back to one of the previous yes, ones. Yes, exactly. And once you know that, okay, I went back to one of the previous ones, I'm done. You're done. Okay. Yep. Good. That's awesome. Look at you. <laughs> All right, next one. Very similar to what we just saw. However, it now has a negative charge. 
So let's go over that. There are loan pairs here. And then note that sometimes you won't actually be given the loan pairs that are there. So sometimes you could just see that it's a negative charge and you had to know there are loan pairs oh, there. Oh, on that carbon, okay. Yes. Okay. And this again goes back to our bonding patterns, just seeing the different types of carbons. Mm -hmm. So we already went over the positive charge, which was a carbocation. Mm -hmm. Now this is a carbanion. Mm -hmm just because I know, okay, there are three bonds here, there's a hydrogen that's not being shown. Mm -hmm. I also know that there are lone pairs and a negative charge. Okay. What would be our first resonance structure? How would the electrons move? Um, so I could move, let's see. Could I move? I know I can work with the lone pair and then the pi bond, mm -hmm. but this like these ones right here are all sp3s. Correct. We don't touch that at all. Okay, so I wouldn't be able to move anything. So no. I'd just be able to like swap like swap that right there. Um. So think of it as I can only have electrons moving mm -hmm. this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, mm -hmm. because these are the carbons that are involved mm -hmm. in that double bond or that pi bond. Right. This is the carbon that has a lone pair. Mm -hmm. And again, it's pi bonds, charges, lone Some pairs. Moves, yeah. But we're not, it's nothing's going to move here, here, and here. Okay. So could I then move the arrow? Well, can I move the the lone pairs mm -hmm. down to this side right here and make like a double bond. You're good. So you're you saying know? moving this. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me see if I have another one. I'm going to do it this way. Moving yeah. this guy here. Mm -hmm. So if we moved these electrons mm -hmm. to then make a double bond. Oh, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see that. One. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. Thank you. <laughs> Now what do we have to do? You'd have to change, uh, let's see. The, I might do the same thing for, hold on, let me replace this. More magic. <laughs> so, I know that the chart has to move. Yes. Because now there's four. Um, yeah, because now, now this is neutral, yes. Right, so now it's like evened out. But the charge now would be... Um, I don't know. So it, we're not done moving things. Oh. So this moved this over, which uh -huh. is fine. But now, now where did those other electrons want to go? Right. So this moved here. We can have multiple arrows. And a lot of times negative charges will have multiple More resonance than. arrows oh. being shown. Okay. So then now we said that the only places that electrons can move was this carbon, this carbon, and this carbon. Mm -hmm. So what if... This one oh, can now became move. became a lone pair. Yes, beautiful. Oh, and then that would have a Yes, charge. so then that moves to this carbon. So then now I know. Let's a little magic. <laughs> yes, that now moves here. And then I keep my charges. Yes. Okay, so that would be the only one I could do, right? That That's would be the only, only thing. structure. That's okay. the only thing you can do. We cannot continue you to move anything there. around yeah. because this would just go backwards, right? If I, right. I would then move back here. And then have the same. I'd have the same exact structure, yes. Okay, that cool. makes sense. So let's draw this one, and I'll have this mm -hmm. one here. So I'd move this little, oh shoot, okay, wait, it was this little arrow to that part right You're there. You're good. And then this right here, do I have to like, does it matter how or where I point it? It doesn't not? matter where, as long as the head of the arrow points to that point. To that point, okay. I'll just go like this. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay. I know it's not perfect. And and it you could have gone this way. You could have gone inside. Okay. As long as it's clear where it's starting and where it's ending. Okay. And then same thing here. You that's totally fine. I can clearly see that it is the lone pair. You could have even gone there. Okay. Another thing is if this was just a negative charge. Mm -hmm. Uh, some professors will be fine with you pointing it just at the negative charge, okay. while others want you to draw on the lone pair and show the lone pair. Oh. So that is dependent on your professor. Interesting. Okay, that's good to know. So then I do this little guy. And this would move to there. Okay. And then that Let's one this over. Oh, thank you. would move this right here. 
Good. Okay. That's it. Nice. And it is always important to double check your charges. You already have that down, which is mm -hmm. great. Uh, another way to remember this was formal charges, was knowing that this oh, carbon, yeah. and actually even knowing what it even looks like, right? Mm -hmm. The carbon ion. But that is something that can help you, just okay. knowing the formal charge of everything. This became neutral. This is now where the negative is. Nice. The negative doesn't just magically go away in this case. Right, right. Okay. That's awesome. Cool. Let's do this one. And I'm going to have us build it out again okay. to make this easier to see. Have a double bond here, mm. double bond here, and a positive charge there. Where can resonance take place? Um, resonance can take place Good. right there and right here. Yes. So everywhere, right? Oh, yeah, because these ones are connected to that. Yes. So yeah, everywhere. <laughs> Every single carbon. <gasps> Because um, there are no, there's no sp three hybridized atoms, so oh, yeah. right there, I can kind of tell that maybe there's going to be more than one mm. resonance structure because there are so many atoms involved. Okay, okay. What would be the first one? Um, first move. I would probably move this one here, and then this one here. Or should I do them one at a time? I think it's not for too. positive charges, uh, you'll notice that a lot of times you just need to do one move at a time. Okay. So, and the, the one that I recommend starting with always is, is the charges. charges? Okay. Is if we have that double bond, have it then point to the bond that has the positive charge. Oh, okay. And we saw that with negative charges, that that would have multiple arrows, most mm -hmm. likely. So, in this case, we have the pi bond. That's why we want the arrow. I can grab it. The arrow, wow, that's satisfying. Okay. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> this and pointing on the pi bond, so the double bond. Mm -hmm. And then the bond with the charge is pointing there so that that would move. Yeah. So I know that, okay, this is now moving here. Mm -hmm. So where's that positive charge now? It'd go down here. Yes. Good. Okay. That's our first structure. So one down. One down. Okay. Let's draw it out since we have it already. That's always a great way to kind of know where to start. Mm -hmm. that start makes sense. with the charges. Move that around. Oh, wait. And, and we still bond. have that bond. Good, good, good. It's not ready. Okay. And then we can keep going with that mindset. Just keep continue with the charges. Just the same thing. So move my arrow. Exactly. That way. We would move it this way. Mm -hmm. Good. And then let's show where would that go now. So this would swap places there. Good. And then my positive would go down that way. Yes. You're getting this. I love it. <laughs> this is Me not, too. This is not really, an easy topic. I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm like way surprised right now. This is crazy. Okay. So then in this case, I would just do like another arrow. Yes, down an here. arrow down. Okay. Yeah. We always have to show the arrows going from whatever it was before. Last. Okay, that makes sense. So like this one guy. Good. A little crooked. That's and fine. Then. You'll get better at the end. You'll be an expert <laughs> artist. I know. And then let's show the arrows as to what Oh, moved. yes. Okay. So this little guy. Right over there. And. Oh, and hold on. So remember, this one moved. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. I'm like, why is it not matching up? Let's pull that out. There we go. Good. That way. So now they're the same. Yes. Okay. And then can we keep going? Um, No, because. Well, actually, wait, no. Good. Go with no. your gut. You're, you're, you can't. Yes. Right? I'm not trying to trick you. <laughs> okay. Just asking a question. No, you cannot. Okay. Because if we tried to then go backwards, right, continuing with that thought. We'd end up back. We would end up back to the previous structure. Okay. If this scooched over, yep, back to what we did before. Yeah, okay. Another kind of cool thing that we can see is that, well, did I already account for pretty much almost every point? Mm -hmm. Did this positive charge keep moving, moving, moving? Yes, yeah. it did. Mm -hmm. So I have three resonance structures. I'm done. That's all I can have in this case. And yes, resonance occurred for every single uh -huh. one of these. Right. All throughout. That makes sense. Okay. And then I just put my little brackets around them. And you would. Then I would. Okay. You I'm would. Done. And then and then you're done. So if you wanted to put a bracket oh. here in the, at the end, sometimes 
you're going to quickly see that some Your examples, yeah. you don't really show that necessarily. So if you forget to put it, again, it depends on your instructor. Uh -huh. If they are a stickler, then yes, then make sure yeah, to put it. it. Okay. Others are like, ah, you got the right resin structures. I don't care. Okay, that's good. Difficulty three. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I, know. I feel it right now. When it gets like this, I'm always like, oh, no. It looks ugly. I know. So scary. But it's not as bad. Okay. This is still the same principles that we were covering. Where can resonance occur? Um, 